Hi, e r i s k i t c h e n 친구분들. Have you ever wondered what Korean moms feed their babies? Or more particularly, do you want to know what I fed our sons when they are around one year old? Okay, today I will teach you how to make a delicious and nutritious Korean baby food. It is called e y u s i k in Korean. Even if you don't have a baby to feed, you can still make it for yourself because it tastes great if you add a little salt. Before I start, I want to give a shout out to my sister-in-law in Korea because she's watching my videos and <laughs> she sent me this cute dress that I'm wearing today. Seonyi, g o m a w e o Then, let's get started. Prepare about 5 ounces of boneless chicken. I will use two chicken tenders today, but you can use about half of a chicken breast also. At the same time, cook some rice to use later. Of course, you can also use leftover rice for this recipe too. We are going to get the great flavor from tasty chicken broth, so get these vegetable ingredients. And two pieces of dried kelp along with the chicken. Put the prepared ingredients for the broth in a pot. Pour the water into the pot and once the water starts to boil, cook it for about 3 minutes on high. After 3 minutes, discard the kelp and continue cooking the rest for about 15 minutes on high. After 15 minutes, take out the cooked chicken, carrot and onion. We are going to chop them for this baby food, so let them cool down a little bit. Strain out the broth. You will get about 2 cups. You will be surprised by the good flavor that this savory broth gives to the baby food without any other seasoning ingredients. Finely chop the zucchini and then chop the cooked chicken, carrot and the onion in the same way. Each child's growth speed is different, so how finely you chop these depends on how well your child can chew. Adjust the size of these ingredients to suit your child. Obtain the cooked rice. There is another method using uncooked rice to make the baby food, but to save the cooking time and make it easier, I recommend trying this method using cooked rice. The flavor and texture is also great. In a larger pot, add the cooked rice, chicken, and all the vegetables. Pour 2 cups of the chicken broth we saved earlier into the pot. Mix everything well and cook it on high. Once it starts to boil, reduce the temperature to medium-high and cook for about 5 minutes. After 5 minutes, you will get this colorful and tasty baby food for your child. e d i s Kitchen Tips I like to keep the baby food in single serving size jars. So after your baby eats the baby food from this kind of jar, Save the jars and use for them for this. When you remove the labels from the jars, there is this sticky stuff. So I use this orange essential oil to remove it. It's nice and clean now. Wash your jars real good and dry them out. Put some of the baby food in each jar. If you make different kinds of baby food on different days, it is nice to write down a date on the jar. So use this kind of tape and write down the date. I will just write December 25th Christmas because I cannot wait for it. You can remove this tape later for reuse. I put the baby food jars in organizing containers like this and keep them in the freezer. By the way, I love these containers that I got from Amazon. I use these for my lunchbox supplies. 
kitchen drawers and kids' desk everywhere. If you are looking for nice organizing containers for your drawers, I highly recommend these. I will add the link below this video for you. Let's go back to the recipe. Whenever you are ready to feed the food to your baby, take a jar from the freezer and put it in a small saucepan. Fill the saucepan half full of water and boil it. Once the water starts to boil, I cook it for about 5 minutes on high and then turn off the heat. Then, let the baby food finish warming up in the hot water for about 5 minutes. After 5 minutes, you will see the frozen baby food thawed to just the right temperature to feed your baby. Did you enjoy my Korean baby food recipe and special tips for today? Then don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give me a big thumbs up. Thank you for watching. See you soon again. Bye!